You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. Upon receiving a number of royal family members, business people and senior officials, His Rohanis the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, affirmed that he has laid firm economic and developmental foundations in the kingdom. He voiced pride in the development of Bahrain in various fields, as well as the government's appreciation of the efforts of the private sector and businessmen and for their projects and investments which help push development forward. His Rohanis noted that the development of local industries that rely on local products and pr produce has become a necessity, urging the private sector to invest in these fields. The Prime Minister noted that the partnership between the public and private sectors is part of the government's vision in light of its effects of strengthening the pillars of a national economy and providing job opportunities for the citizens. He also emphasized the government's support to small and medium enterprises. He continued by saying that the kingdom is proud of its creative craftspeople, stressing the importance of supporting and encouraging them to preserve Bahrain's deep-rooted industries, which will provide the necessary requirements for it to grow and compete in local and regional markets. His Rohan has also highlighted the government's keenness on increasing greenery and the number of tree-lined streets across the kingdom for its importance in preserving the environment. His Rohanis, uh, Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received at Glebia Palace today a delegation of a number of families from Manama as part of His Rohanis' meetings with citizens to inspect their needs and to discuss with them various local issues. His Rohanis affirmed his keenness on communicating with the people, stating that the maintenance of Bahrain's security and prosperity is a shared goal between the people and the government. His Rohanis stressed that Bahrain's national unity was a key factor in protecting the country's stability, highlighting that Bahrain will remain a country of forgiveness, security and stability. The Prime Prime Minister affirmed that the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa encourage more work to achieve the citizens' aspirations, stressing that all the government's efforts aim at maintaining security and stability and meeting the needs of citizens. His Rohanis affirmed his personal follow-up on all projects and services in various Bahraini cities and villages to ensure that Bahraini citizens are provided with the best government services. The Prime Minister noted that the current political and economic challenges and developments require awareness and adherence to national unity, which has always formed a fundamental pillar for the the development of the country and the preservation of its cultural assets. He added that enhancing communication among Bahraini society contributes in strengthening the bonds of national unity and maintaining the distinctive characteristics of its society. بأجبر التحايا وأعطر الأمريات والتطلعات تجمعنا الأيام 
في رحاب هذا المجلس العامر بوجودكم سيدي وتغمرنا الطمأنينة والمحبة الصادقة تحت ظل راية سيدي صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير خليفة بن سلمان آل خليفة فيطيب لنا أن نعبر عما يملأ قلوبنا فاللقاءات بسموكم تمنحنا أطيب الأثر والجميل من المشاعر في نفوس محبيكم نستلهم منكم الدروس والعبر ومنكم التوجيه والإرشاد وعلى يدكم وعلى يديكم تدور دفة السفينة ليرسوا الوطن بأمان محتضنا الجميع سيدي صاحب السمو يسعدني ويشرفني أن أقف بكل فخر واعتزاز بين يدي سموكم الكريم وذلك بالأصالة عن نفسي وبالنيابة عن إخوتي الحاضرين من أهالي المنامة الكرام لنفخر بالتعبير عن مشاعر كل بحريني مخلص محب لوطنه وها هنا قائد في وصفه علم أعني خليفة في رضم وأبياتي أبا علي وهل تخفى مناقبه أبا علي وهل تخفى مناقبه أنعم بإشراقه في فجرنا الآتي تاج الرجال ولا تخفى مهابته يزينه الحلم وهو البحر والجبل ليث إذا استصغر الأعداء ساحته وهو الغدير إذا مخلو لقى الزلل يسمو يسمو متى عارض يمدد إليه يدا ويتقيه بحلم ما به خطل أبصرته أبصرته باسما في يوم ذي رهج في كفه وطن في عزمه الأسل قط البلاد عطاء لا حدود له فالأرض مونقة والنخل مكتهل هذا سلالة تاريخ يشين به يصوغ مجد العلا للناس إن جهل أبو علي أبو علي وهذا المجد ملحمة حتى وإن ضعن الأقوام أو كفلوا والغرس والسقي من كفيه محمدة إن المحامد أغلى مقتنى الرجل صاح النهى لا يفل الخطب عزمته فالعزم والحلم من أخلاقه نهل يصيب بالرأي ما يعي الرجال به وقدرة الحر ما بين الورى زجل يفتر مبتسما في كل مظلمة وفي الملمات لا ينتابه ملل من عاش للمجد فالعلياء ديدنه في القرب والمنتأى تعلو به المثل يا سيدي قد حباك الله منزلة فلا أراك سوى بالحلم تكتحل تصافح الصبح بالإصباح مبتسما وتنثر البذر حيث الغيث ينهمل يهنيك يا فارس العلياء يهنيك يا فارس العلياء قد شهدت بفضلك النبلاء الغر والدول إن المحافل أمثال وأمثلة وأنت والمجد أمثال بها شغل أعيد شخصك من عين النجوم ضحا وصانك الله من عين بها كلل 
بكم تناهيت بكم تناهيت والأيام شاهدة والفضل بالفضل لا زيف ولا مطل يزيدك الحلم بأسا من توهجه ومن سجاياك أضحى يضرب المثل يزيدك الحلم بأسا من توهجه ومن سجاياك أضحى يضرب المثل والسلام عليكم Jafar bin Rajab delivered a speech in which he affirmed all Bahraini citizens' appreciation of His Rohanis, the Prime Minister's efforts and his keenness to inspect their needs, also highlighting their eagerness to meet him and attend his meetings. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to preserve the Kingdom of Bahrain under its wise leadership. Poet Muhammad Hassan Kamal al-Din recited a poem in which he hailed the role of His Rohanis and his achievements in the service of the country. For their part, the families of Manama expressed pride and gratitude in meeting with His Rohanis and their appreciation for his keenness to meet with them and inspect their needs. They also hailed his Rohanis' role and his achievement for the country and its people. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa congratulated the Chairwoman of the Board of Directors of Bahrain Bayan School, Sheikh Dr. May bin Suleiman Al Atebi, the member of the administrative and educational bodies and all the school students on winning the first place in the Zayed Future Energy Prize at a ceremony held in Abu Dhabi in the Schools of Asia category. His Highness noted that this achievement reflects the development of the Kingdom after the implementation of regulations and legislations that have contributed to advancing education. He added that this comes in line with the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to achieve the goals of sustainable development of which the development of education is a crucial and fundamental part. Sheikh Nasser lauded the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, for his support to the award which reflects the keenness of the UAE on appointing ideas, or rather adopting ideas that support renewable energies. His Highness praised the participation of Bahrain Bayan School, which clearly reflected its interest in supporting innovation, leadership, and achieving a significant impact in the renewable energies and clean technologies sector. He wished the school more success in the future. The Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Dr. Abdul Hussain bin Ali Mirza, participated in the inauguration ceremony of the Abu Dhabi Sustainability Week and Sheikh Zayed Future Energy Prize held under the patronage of the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. The event witnessed the participation of a number of world leaders, energy ministers and officials working in the field of energy from Gulf and Arab countries. The ceremony included the International Water Summit and the Future Cities Forum. Dr. Mirza noted that the Abu Dhabi Sustainability week discusses the major challenges that face energy sustainability and reviews the latest developments in the fields of renewable energies as well as the nation's strategies to maintain and develop renewable energy sources. He noted that the forum is a complementary step to the efforts exerted during Paris and Marrakesh climate change conferences as well as the previous national and international commitments included in the Paris Agreement. The minister continued by saying that the discussions explored the possible means of funding renewable energy. In the context, Dr. Mirza noted that the outcomes will benefit the Kingdom, particularly in light of the government's efforts to achieve energy sustainability. Following the orders of His Rohanis the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to distribute 4,800 housing units to beneficiaries in various kingdoms regions, the Minister of Housing, Basim Ya'goub Al Hamar, announced that the start of electronic withdrawal procedures for 2,800 beneficiaries in the northern city has begun, which is regarded as the first measure of its kind for the new city. He added the procedure of electronic withdrawal in the northern city will continue until the end of March and shall include the distribution of housing units in the island's number 13 
and 14. Al Hamad expressed pleasure in the great progress witnessed by the city over the past five years. He explained that the ministry has started since 2012 in the preparation of designs and implementation of infrastructure works in the city that included partnership agreements with the private sector to implement 1618 units in the city, noting that the city is expected to be opened during the current year. The public prosecution held a press conference on its accomplishments for the year 2017 in the presence of public prosecutor Dr. Ali bin Fadl al buainin The public prosecution launched the electronic services in the e-government portal in order to facilitate and simplify procedures for users and maintain their privacy. It also revealed the most prominent statistics for its specialized tasks in terms of issues and courses and gave a general overview of its specialties. The public prosecution has managed to accomplish 100% of its cases last year. The Civil Aviation Affairs at the Ministry of Transportation and Telecommunication issued a report about the incident which took place yesterday morning on the 15th of January in which it stated that at 9.35, two Qatari military fighter jets coming from Qatar's airspace intercepted the Emirates Airlines Boeing 777 flight number EK837 coming from Dubai International Airport and heading to Bahrain International Airport. The Emirates Airline aircraft was taking air route UP669 in a scheduled usual flight that has met all the requirements as the Qatari fighter jets approached nearly two miles from the aircraft of the Emirates Airlines, which has jeopardized the lives of the travelers and aircraft's crew. This forced the air traffic controllers in the Kingdom of Bahrain to intervene immediately and take the necessary measures to maintain the safety of air traffic. A similar incident has been recorded on Emirati Etihad Airways aircraft, flight number EY23B, heading from Abu Dhabi International Airport to Bahrain International Airport. The incident is currently being investigated. The Civil Aviation Affairs will take the necessary measures with the international authorities concerned on the serious incident and will file a detailed report to the International Civil Aviation Organization. Now, the United Arab Emirates will also file a complaint against Qatar at the United Nations Aviation Agency today after Qatari fighter jets intercepted two UAE civilian aircraft. The UAE said yesterday that Qatari Air Force jets had intercepted two UAE civilian aircrafts on routine commercial flights to Bahrain. UAE General Civil Aviation Authority Director General Saif Mohammed Suedi said the UAE will accuse Qatar of violating the Chicago Convention, which governs the use of airspace, in a complaint to the International Civil Aviation Organization. Suedi said that two Qatar Qatari warplanes twice flew dangerously close to the UAE airliners as they descended towards Bahrain International Airport in separate incidents yesterday and could be seen by the pilots and the passengers. A very good evening. You're watching the Business News in Bahrain International with me, Hiba Abdul Ghaffour. Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,321.4 points, marking a decrease of 2.7 points below the previous closing. The decrease was in the commercial banks and the investment sectors, and investors mainly traded in the commercial bank sector, representing 68% of the total value of traded shares. 77 equity transactions took place, including 3,223,494 shares, worth 502,227 Bahraini. Bahrain Bourse announced the listing of the government Islamic lease Sukuk Al Ijara Securities Issue Number 25 issued by the Central Bank. The 100 million Bahraini dinar Sukuk are issued at a par value of one Bahraini dinar each for a period of three years. The annual fixed return on these securities is 4.8% and will be paid every six months. Investors will be able to sell and buy the Sukuk by placing their orders through registered brokers at Bahrain Bourse with a minimum of 400 Bahraini dinars per transactions in the main market. Following the listing of the issue, the number of conventional bonds and Sukuk issues listed on the bourse reaching 14 issues with an approximate total value of 
6.416 billion US dollars. The Central Bank of Bahrain announced that the monthly issue of Sukuk Al Salam Islamic Securities has been subscribed by 100%. Subscriptions worth 43 million Bahraini dinars were received for the issue, which carries a maturity of 91 days. The expected return is 3.08% compared to 2.98% for the previous issue. This is the issue number 201 of the short term Sukuk Al Salam series. Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industries Chairman Khalid Al Muayyid has received a Palestinian business delegation headed by the Chairman of Jericho Chamber of Commerce, Taisir Hamida, in the presence of the Palestinian Ambassador to Bahrain, Taha Muhammad Abdul Qadir. The meeting hailed the bilateral and deep rooted relations between Bahrain and Palestine and stressed on the importance of invigorating trade and investments. Al Muayyid expressed the keenness of the Bahrain Chamber on cooperating with Jericho Chamber in a bid to streamline business and encourage partnerships. Hamida invited the Bahraini business community to mull business opportunities in Jericho, highlighting that their main industries are agriculture, food processing and tourism.